Shelly's got us in the corner. Shelly. Shelly. But where's the bear? Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, The Chief, a.k.a. The Chef, a.k.a. The Freshly Shaved Chief, bringing you a brand new episode of Brawl Stars, where inside of today's video, we're going to be winning some matches of Showdown using some of the worst star powers inside of all of Brawl Stars, and this video is about to get ridiculous. Now, believe it or not, as I was going through some of the worst star powers in the game, I actually ran into way too many to count. There certainly are a ton of star powers that honestly should almost never be played, so we're going to be using that inside of today's video to find out which ones are worthless and still trying to pick up some wins even with all that in mind now as always whether you guys are buying the best or worst star powers in the entire game make sure you're using code pad in the shop that's code p-a-t or chief cat will never appear on this channel again without further ado though let's go and hop into those star powers i forget the name of the star power lucas so i just need to die real quick That was awkward. Okay, so if you guys saw that, I actually ended up forgetting the name of the star power, so I went to restart the match, and uh, it looks like a Penny actually ended up trying to team with me, and I ended up murdering that Penny in cold blood. So F's in the chat to Penny, guys, but we're gonna be kicking this off with one of the worst star powers in the game, which is gonna end up being counter crushed by Jackie, and this star power is completely useless. Basically, what it does is when you get hit by your enemies, it's gonna end up doing a groundbreaker attack for you that does 15% damage in a short radius around you. Now, obviously, Jackie's other star power is so nice because it gives you a shield and it reduces damage permanently and this one just creates this little groundbreaker thing which honestly in the end is actually super useless all right well let's just split sprint in and kill this leon i guess leon's gonna forget about us and go for that brock instead we're already looking good but unfortunately no groundbreakers yet let's see if we can do this see rosa's gonna go in on us right now we're gonna get a little bit of damage done as sprout goes absolutely ham sandy looks like she's not gonna mess with us which is super good still two gadgets to our name guys and a especially the reason that this star power is so bad because when you're facing extra long brawlers you're literally just going to hit the ground and do absolutely nothing so if a sprout is shooting at me i'm just going to start hitting the ground and doing nothing over and over and over again you always want to make sure you're rocking jackie's other star power but in the spirit of good fun we're going to try to win with it and i think there's a bull over here at least bull is someone we can get up close and personal to right now bull that's rude get over here bull get over here bull that's a dead bull and the counter crush okay the counter crush did like 50 damage shout out to the counter crush three brawlers left two big sprints we should still be able to pick up this easy win all right here we go guys so far so good eight cubes another energy drink just to say that we did it mortis i think is over here yep there's a mortis shout out mortis oh wow uh how did he not run away from us all right well roses or sandy's on this side guys that's gonna be an easy um counter crush is it not going to do anything? <laughs> GG's. Star power number two on our list is going to be one of the worst ones. Maybe the worst one inside of the entire game, guys. And again, this star power is okay, but the other star power is so good. We're going to be using Bear With Me on Nita, which if you didn't know, this star power is absolutely trash. What it does is if you end up throwing down a bear, whenever you deal damage, your bear will recover 500 HP. And whenever your bear deals damage, you'll recover 500 HP. Now, the problem is your bear is probably just going to get absolutely destroyed. And 500 HP is like literally nothing. It's absolute trash, especially because Hyper Bear is one of the best, probably five star powers inside of all of Brawl Stars. The fact that Bear With Me only gives you such little rewards is pretty depressing. So let's just go and see if we can uh, use this star power and somehow pick up a win. We've already made Jackie very upset right now, which we need to keep in mind right now. Bear? 500 HP. We're rich. <laughs> all right, guys, this is looking bad. Shelly's got us in the corner. Shelly. Shelly. But where's the bear? I'm the best bear in the entire world. I'm the best bear in the entire world. I went to build a bear workshop. You didn't. Five brawlers left. Let's go, baby. All right, guys. We got the full heals. We've got looks that could kill. Bear is about to be out and about. I repeat, the bear is on the loose, ladies and gentlemen. But where are you going, bear? Why is there a Poco over there? That's illegal. All right. Well, we're going to end up getting the kill right there. Bear has done absolutely nothing for me. We did all of that just for a drop of blood. Poco could have smacked us down. Nani, I'm sick of you. Nani, I am sick of you. Get out of my face. What? That was unfortunate. More trash? 
coming your way. Next star power. This star power honestly is a star power that I want to be so good because it is really fun to play with this brawlers guys, but we're going to be playing screeching solo with Poco. And if you know anything about this brawler, this is the ultimate solo showdown uh, star power for, for Poco, by the way. So I'm going to go and kill this Daryl just to make sure we don't die right now. But with this star power, it deals 800 damage if you shoot it at your enemies. Now, not only is 800 damage for something that's so hard to charge up, so useless guys, your super needs to be pointed at your teammates. I can't tell you how many Pokos I've played with who've been so greedy, so dirty, and you literally need a heal. And they're like, nah, I need to do 800 damage to a 10,000 HP Frank guys. This super needs to be used on your teammates. And when you have screeching solo, not only does it do basically nothing but also it, it just it just doesn't work out that well guys almost zero damage almost zero gains easily why this shows up on our list now beforehand when this was uh no smiley face speaking of healing if you ever use the star power you're not invited to my birthday party. That's gonna end up being Pam's second star power, guys, that ends up damaging your opponents and dealing 500 damage per second if they end up staying in your turret. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have this elusive, crazy Brawl Stars tip. I'm gonna share it with you guys for free. Listen, you guys need to make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and use code PAT in the shop. I'm gonna give you three seconds before I give you this pro gamer tip. You should not be throwing your turrets at your enemies, guys. That is not how you play a healing turret. You don't throw it at your enemies with its limited range, with how good Mama Squeeze is, which is Pam's other star power. If you use this star power, I don't even want to look you in the eyes right now. Chief Cat is disgusted at you if you use this star power. This star power did end up uh, hopping on our top 10 plays and was really fun. So I need to give credit where credit is due. If you control with this star power, more power to you guys. But yeah, this star power is something that, you know, only adults should use. You should only use it with adult supervision because it is absolute trash. And there's, there's a good reason why. All right, well, we're going to try to use it successfully right here inside of Solo Showdown. Even in Solo Showdown, when you don't have teammates, that 40 HP that you heal from your shot is going to be well worth it in this case. Let's continue tickling this Daryl right now. Daryl's about to get very upset with us and probably try to charge us down. So let's run away as soon as possible. Nani, what are you doing, Nani? You don't want this turret damage, baby. Daryl is, is triggered, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Daryl is triggered. Oh my goodness. He was chasing us all the way across the map right now. Penny's gonna end up doing penny things, which is basically nothing. Penny's still doing penny things. You ready for this? That didn't work. Literally did, did absolutely nothing. All right, Penny. You met your maker. Thank you very much. Turret, grand total of zero work being done for us. Still, we're getting those kills. Six cubes, one dream, and one angry Rosa. All right, energy drink is back on the side. Rosa is about to destroy us. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Rosa, you don't want that smoke of this damage, though. Oh, look at that 500 damage on that B. Look at this epic gamer putting in unbelievable work right now. Huge damage coming out from that 500 HP. Who wants a piece of this? Who wants a piece of this, B? You don't want nothing, B. B, you don't want anything. Get in that gas, girl. What are you doing, Rosa? Rosa, if you think for a second, I'm gonna let you not take any turrets. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. 500 damage for a second. Best star power in all of Brawl Stars. I honestly don't know if I've ever actually seen this star power in action. I'm being 100% serious. I read the description again and I was like, dude, has anyone ever used this in the history of mankind? Spoiler alert, no. But we're going to end up using Blustery Wind with uh, with Gale. And guys, this star power, if you need a refresher, because I sure did, it ends up speeding up your teammates whenever you walk in Gale's super. Now, here's the problem. Why? When When is this ever going to be useful? In, in Brawl Stars history right now, guys. I don't think that there's really a circumstance. We're gonna continue doing our thing over here. Pam gonna be a big chunk as always. You guys ready to see a pro gamer move? You guys wanna see a pro gamer move outside of this Wi-Fi? This is depressing. This is depressing. This is depressing. Let's get out of here. Gamers in action. Okay, I'm doing the thing. Whenever your device starts lagging, start moving it all the way around the map, guys. This star power is booty. This star power is garbage. And if we can at least charge up on Pam, Oh, she probably has that 500 damage per second, guys. Let's be a little bit careful right now. You don't want that 500 damage, but let me show you guys. Let me show you how we go right now. Look at this. I guess you have to use it on your teammates. Final star power of the day. And trust me, there were a lot to choose from, but the final 
terrible star power we're gonna end up playing has one of the best star power names inside of all of brawl stars we're gonna play el fuego with el primo guys and if you've heard of this star power it actually sounds pretty cool off the bat whenever you jump on someone and you use el fuego you're gonna end up dealing damage per second and it's gonna burn your enemies but here's the problem with primo if you're jumping on someone you don't need 150 or whatever damage per second you need a little bit of movement speed to be able to destroy them and you also need to be able not to lag like we are oh my goodness gracious this is terrible what is going on right now 600 hp i'm on the struggle bus what are you gonna try to destroy me over the wall piper piper this is rude piper we were friends piper even with the lag you can't hit me girl what are you doing all right, let's see if we can charge up an El Fuego during this match though, but 150 damage per second. I'm using so many bad star powers in a row that Supercell is punishing me and making me play with lag. Oh my goodness. And they're giving me just dank Pocos who want to destroy us in cold blood. All right, let's move on. What? What are you doing here? Give me my Fuego. Give me the Fuegos. Okay, okay, no Fuegos for me. No Fuegos for me, I'm sorry. All right, let's get out of here. What? We're good. We're almost at our El Fuego, guys. Can you feel the 150 damage per second in your face? Glorious. Glorious! It's like driving a car 200 miles an hour. That's the power, the unlimited power you feel with El Primo's El Fuego. But seriously, if you're gonna jump on someone with El Primo and you don't kill them or you don't die yourself, you're probably in for a pretty bad time. Spoiler alert, you should probably kill them if you're jumping on them. Yes, I understand jumping on a save, jumping on a, uh, you know, the siege or the, yeah, the siege turret's gonna be fun. But realistically, guys, this star power is trash and uh, use, you know. What? I'm so over this. I'm so, Shelly, how are you this bad? Get, get El Fuego'd. How are you gonna lose to me? Don't tell me this El Fuego is about to kill you. It does 300 damage per second, by the way, not 150. Big, uh, big boy damage right there. Literally, this, this Shelly, one of the most impressive losses of a 1v1 of all time. All right, Poco, this is where things get real, though, Poco. This is where things get real. Get out! <laughs> okay, Gadget putting in work right now. Poco, get over there. Go hang out with Shelly. Go hang out with Shelly. I told you. You're not hanging out with me over here. You're not part of the Cool Kids Club. Give me that kill. Give me that damage. El Fuego to the face. Why is Why there is so there much so lag? lag? So that's going to do it for a ridiculous video today with so many terrible star powers. But I want to hear from you guys inside of the comment section below for which star powers you think are the absolute worst inside of Brawl Stars. Clearly something's gone wrong because I can't even exit out of this match anymore. I'm stuck with Jackie BMing me, unfortunately, due to the star powers that I've used. But as always, make sure you guys are using code Pat in the shop. Like this video and subscribe or you're forced to use terrible star powers for the rest of your life. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.